Okay, so we know who the finalists are for both the Europa League and the Champions League. But what you guys love is seeing if I was completely wrong with my prediction. So, I can't deny you guys that pleasure, can I? And hey, what's up? I'm Adrian, this is Rabona TV, and we'll be reacting to both my Europa League semi-final predictions and my Champions League semi-final predictions. If this is your first time finding us and you dig the content, then be sure to hit that subscribe button to please the invisible force that is the YouTube algorithm. Appreciate it. We'll start with the Europa League with Atletico versus Arsenal. So it's Atletico's tight defense against the top scorers in the Europa League this season. And how will they fare? Well, their defense fared pretty well. And while Arsenal did score once, I remind you that this tie ended 2-1 to one in favor of Atletico. What did I say results-wise now? I think that Atletico will go through on penalties after this thing is tied 3-3 on aggregate. Hey, okay, so it wasn't the most accurate prediction ever, but it wasn't my worst. As Arsenal were just one goal away from sending that match into extra time. Would have been cool if they did actually, because that tie could have used just a tad more excitement. Atletico probably should have had more goals, especially in the second match when Diego Costa was an absolute menace for Arsenal's back line. But all things considered, they played their tactics perfectly in the first match, with Thomas Partey revealing that Simeone had Atletico train at playing a man down in the lead up to their first leg. Pretty incredible instinct by Simeone. All right, so that's a good start. One for one. And who we got next? Aue, Marseille avec FC Salzburg en la demi-finale. Whoa, relax with the French dude. So, Marseille versus Salzburg. And, uh... What did I have to say about this match? So it's another case of a strong defense coming up against an extremely strong offense. Wow, stealing lines from yourself, I see, eh? Okay, go on. Well, Marco Rose, the FC Salzburg manager, has his team extremely well organized, and they showed against Lazio that they have some goals in them as well. They aren't just a defending team. I think that was on display in this matchup as well, as they lost the first match by a two-goal deficit, 2-0 two away to Marseille, and then closed said deficit by making it 2-0 in favor of Salzburg by the end of regulation time in the second leg. Good defense, decent attack. Let's see if it was a decent prediction, though. It's a, it's really a tough one. I'm on the spot here. Um, yes, it is. Now reveal your prediction. Oh, it's so hard. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. So call me stupid, but I feel like there's just something special going on with Salzburg this season. And I believe they're going to ride whatever it is that's carrying them through this competition all the way to the finals. Salzburg to take it 3-2. Oof, that one hurts, man. Not only because I got the result wrong, of, of course, Marseille ended up going through, but the fact that it was so close, so close I was to getting it right. I got the score right, but just backwards. Had Salzburg found a goal in extra time and Marseille hadn't, I would have had it. What makes it hurt especially is considering the unfortunate circumstances in which Marseille got their winner. You know, from a corner kick that never should have been a corner kick. Having said that, it was unfortunate for Salzburg and for my predictions record, but ultimately, Marseille are deserved finalists. What they're doing in Ligue 1 and in Europe right now is really exciting to watch, even if they tend to shut off every other match. Against Braga, they won one and lost one. Against Leipzig and Salzburg, they did the same. Hopefully for their sake, they have one of their good matches in the finals, as opposed to one of the bad matches that crop up for them from time to time. Okay, so the Europa League predictions are done. They're finished. I went one for two, and it's time to move on to the champions. Adrian, take it away. Okay, let's start with Bayern versus Real Madrid, an absolute classic European matchup. Very true, these two have met up more than any other teams by a long shot now. Some people say that it's a metaphor for the Champions League becoming boring with always having the same teams. But I mean, to me, it's just sort of logical. Two teams that have been dominant in their respective countries for decades, the champions of said countries, if you will. So it's only inevitable that they're going to meet up with each other somewhere down the line in the Champions League, no? That's how I see it, but anyway. Bayern will want to impose themselves in the first leg at home, but will have to be wary of what Real Madrid did to PSG and Juve when they played away. In fact, Real has scored in each of their five away matches in the competition this season, winning four out of those five matches. And hey, that was some sound advice for Bayern, if not mega obvious. <laughs> I'm by no means a mastermind at all, but Real Madrid did hurt them once again, coming away with a 2-1 win at the Allianz Arena. For me, they will get a score draw away against Bayern, and that goal plus the form of Ronaldo is enough for me to say that Madrid will go through 3-2. to 
Damn if it isn't going to be close though. Score draw away for Real Madrid? No. Form of Ronaldo having a big impact on this tie? No. As he failed to score in both legs, actually. Final score of 3 2? Nah, didn't get that one, but I was close. Just needed to add a goal each way, and we would have had a mega prediction. Anyways, two for three now. Can we at least get a somewhat respectable 75% here? Last time in the Europa League, I went four for four, but hey, I'll take a cross competition three out of four. The Saudi Olympico has been a fortress, it's been Fort Knox impenetrable. Yes, true, but you didn't really think that Roma would keep Liverpool off the score sheet, did you? So, these two have met on five occasions in Europe, including the 1984 European- No, 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 talk more about what will happen in your opinion. Like Klopp himself said, quote, If anybody thinks this is the easiest draw, then I cannot help this person. They obviously didn't see both games against Barcelona. Okay, yeah, and that's true given what the final aggregate score was, and speaking of that, Spit it out, man. What's your prediction? And while I don't think Liverpool will win by that big of a margin against Roma, I see them going through 4-2. to two. We will finally see the opposition score at the Olympico in this one. Well, the aggregate score was completely wrong, considering this thing ended 7-6 in favor of Liverpool. And Liverpool did score in the Stadio Olimpico, but again, I don't get any points for that. I think most people predicted that. So, result was correct. Score completely wrong but I went three for four in total for these semi-final predictions. How did you do? Two for four, three for four, four for four, the holy grail? Let me know in the comment section and don't forget to be honest. Don't lie on the internet to look cool. Regardless of how you did, I appreciate you for watching this video. I'll definitely do Europa League and Champions League final previews, which of course, you know, I'll throw in a little prediction in there as well. If you like this video, then drop a like to let me know. Other than that, I'll see you in the comments section to totally roast you if you got less than three out of four correct. Peace.